The title of today's presentation is Connecting the Dots from History and Heavenly Signs to Pope Francis and Christ's Return. Whether you believe it or not, we believe we can show that there is a countdown to the world's financial collapse and the world takeover and the return of Jesus. Here's our signature graph which points directly to Pope Francis using the 266 and other numbers. And we're going to break this down, taking one sign at a time and one prophecy at a time, so you can understand it. Now let's look at each sign individually, so you can understand them corporately. We first have the sign of the Star of David and it points directly to the 266th Pope as the Earth Beast of Revelation. On August 8, 1990, the first Star of David occurred, and 13 stars later, it concluded its showing on July 22, 2013, with the 13th Star of David. However, 2 times 66 days prior to the last star, or 132 days, Pope Francis was elected on March 13, 2013, as the 266th Pope. Then, from the last star of David, exactly 266 days later, you have the first blood moon of the 8th perfect tetrad on April 15, 2014. Isn't that amazing? Now let's look at the second sign in the 8th tetrad, and let's see how it points to the 266th Pope as the Earth Beast of Revelation 13. The final star of David occurred on July 22, 2013, and exactly 266 days later, as we've already pointed out, on April 15, 2014, we have our first blood moon of the eighth tetrad. And then from that first blood moon, we go exactly 266 days later, and we have the perfect middle of that eight tetrad. Then we go from the perfect middle on January 5th, 2015, another 266 days, and we get the final blood moon on September 28th, 2015. Then we go back to the beginning of January 1st, 2015, and we go 266 days to September 23rd, the first day the Pope shows up in America on the Day of Atonement, another 266. Then we go to the final sign, the sun-clad woman, September 23rd, 2017. And we notice that there's a connection back to the first blood moon of the Tetrad on April 15, 2014. And it's exactly 1260 days. Wow. The same number of days that the woman goes in hiding and the same number of days the beast is allowed to blaspheme. Amen. Now let's look at the third sign in heaven, the sun-clad woman that points to the 266th Pope Francis as the earth beast and the exciting return of Jesus predicted on September 23, 2017. If we focus on the right side of the screen, you'll see September 23rd, 2017, sun-clad woman. If you go backwards for the top number, 266 days, you'll see a phenomena in the sky. During that time period that lasts 266 days where Ju King Planet Jupiter goes in retrograde in the constellation Virgo for exactly 266 days. Then, if you look at August 21st, 2017, the total solar eclipse, and go backwards 666 days, you'll meet up with the conjunction of Jupiter and Venus exactly 666 days. What a sign. Then you go from the sun-clad woman, and you go back exactly 777 days, and you get another conjunction on August 7th, 2015. What a miraculous sign in the sky. Then, of course, you go down one more and you remember the 1260 days that goes back to the first uh, blood moon tetrad on April 15, 2014. Below that, however, you go from the sun-clad woman, a hundred-year generation warning backwards, and you get 1917 in the Balfour Agreement. 
Then you go one more step further and you go 120 years backwards and you get the Noah's warning and the first Zionist conference where Israel became a state. How exciting. Now let's look at Noah, Matthew, and Luke's warning prophecies that point to the return of Jesus, September 23, 2017. As we just discussed on the previous slide, we had a 100-year generation warning in Matthew 24, 32 through 34, the first budding of the fig tree. That generation will not pass away. In, in Genesis, it defines a generation as a 100 years. Therefore, 100 years from the sun-clad woman date backwards is the Balfour Agreement, and that is the second bud of the fig tree. The first bud of the fig tree is the 120-year Noah warning in Genesis 3, and this is the first Zionist conference in 1897. Wow! Now let's look at the Tyndale Tetrad, the 266 connection to the end times. William Tyndale was born on 1494. Therefore, he is identified with the fifth Tetrad, which occurred between 1493 and 1494. Now, if you take the fourth Tetrad and the second Tetrad and you take the difference in their years, you get exactly 66 years. Then if you go to the right of the fifth Tetrad and you take the sixth and the eighth Tetrad, you take the difference, you get again exactly 66 years. Thus, you have a 266 relationship. Wow. Now let's look at the Martin Luther connection that points the 666 squarely at the beast, Pope Francis. First, we look at the Reformation occurred on October 31st, 1517, where Martin Luther pounded his 95-page thesis on the Catholics' doors. And then we look at 172,666 days later, and we have the sun-clad woman. And isn't that an amazing pointer that Martin Luther uses? Here is Pope Francis' lifetime verse, Revelation 13, 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of man. His number is six hundred three score and six. Now let's look at a summary page that shows all five graphics. And the summary is basically this. The results are in seven 266 references, one 777 reference, one 666 reference, and one 1260 reference. And if you're a Bible scholar at all, you know what that means. Now let's get to the guts of the matter. If you're looking at Matthew 24, you will notice that we have gone through the beginning of sorrows. Now we're entering the time that God warned us would be the abomination of desolation. And that is the trip for Pope Francis to America, where we believe he will unveil a plan for the world to take over all countries under the guise of the United Nation and a la climate control. Then he will go to Philadelphia and he will declare gay marriage to be biblical and he will complete his abomination. God also had a mini tetrad, if you will, back when Christ was crucified and it had the four blood moons except partial eclipses and it was beautifully symmetrical also, but nothing like the perfect tetrad of the eighth final tetrad here. Without going into all the details, September 13, 2015, the Feast of Trumpets coming shortly appears to be the day of financial collapse in the world. 
and the the starting of the world takeover, setting up Pope Francis's trip to America in September 23rd. So wake up. Remember the ninth of Av. Many bad things happened for the Jewish people in the history. Many temples have been destroyed. And let's look at the beginning of Shemitah, the year of Jubilee for the Jews. And this has always been a very big marker for financial collapses. And we believe this seventh collapse on the seven-year Shemitah cycle is going to be a mega collapse. Hi, Mark Johnson from Name of the Lord 777 Ministries wants to join you in prayer for the triumphal return of Jesus. Amen.